That coyote come out right over there to my right, 15, 20 yards from me. I'm just sitting right in this little hedge row, or this little cedar row of trees. Right out, I had no idea I was around. That was pretty cool. Finally starting to react. call sitting out there about maybe 100 yards from me, 80, 100 yards. Just come sneaking in here around these creek bottoms and trying to give them some cover to come in. And it's finally starting to pay off. I killed, tried to kill a coyote down this area on my, near my brothers for a long time. Missed one. Actually, I think I missed two down here. He's always kidding me about it. <laughs> I finally, finally connected. Nice male. Starting to rub just a little bit. Not too bad. Size male. Good buddy of mine, Robert, turned me on to this call that uh, worked for him, so I'll give it a try after I howl just a little bit. I used it first and then howl just a little bit and then got back on it. And it come out to my right, just shoot 15, 20 yards away. That was pretty cool. Wish I could have got a little more film, but that's all I got. Well, I appreciate y'all tuning in to take a look at a little bit more of my coyote hunting today. Uh, I uh, went to an old spot that I've been going to since 1972, since I was a kid, hiking and uh, hunting squirrels and all that stuff. And there's a house there now, so I had to regroup Went out to another spot that I've had some bad luck on. Uh, missed one, uh, had one come real close to me and then it ran off and I missed it. And, uh, had a, uh, somebody uh, give me a hard time about that. I finally told him I went uh, coyote killing instead of coyote hunting. He's always accusing me of just hunting them. He said, you should kill them, you're supposed to kill them. <laughs> so I finally, finally uh, connected on this nice male here. Starting to rub just a little bit on its back. Been a very warm, weird winter around here in Missouri, and uh, finally they started to break. This is about getting close to mid-March. I killed one about a week and a half ago, and uh, this one uh, come out.
come out, I mean, really close. I set up a little bit different this time, a little bit closer to, to giving them some cover to come out, and, and it finally did. See, this, like I said, is about, about 15 yards from me, and I did, so I didn't get much footage at all. I was afraid to, to let him walk much because he might get my wind. But I uh, filmed it with my video, No Shock Extreme. This works really good. Interested? Just give me a, a shout. Nice boy. A little bit of a smell to him. That thing's gonna be nice. If he's not all rubbed up like that, he'd be a good skinner. It's a big old thing. Pretty heavy. 25 pounds, 30 pounds, something like that. Big old male. <sighs> Pretty tickled with that. Another buddy of mine, uh, Robert, I uh, have to give him a shout out here. Uh, he turned me on to a different call uh, and uh, I used it. And, uh, just come on in. I, did a little, I used it first and howled a little bit just to let him know I was here. Went back to that call. It took about probably a good 20 25 minutes for it to come in. Then it, then it snuck in. And, like I said, almost didn't come any closer. He'd have seen me. Another heavy male, big old thing, man. But, uh, once again, appreciate y'all taking the time to look at these. And, uh, I wish you uh, really good luck in all your hunting. Like I said, if you want to do some of this filming, uh, these uh, cameras of mine, I've used JVC cameras on here and I put it on my video, No Shock Extreme. And uh, this thing works really well. It's only 140 bucks shipped to you. It's 1080p or 720p high definition. Works great. Blows GoPros away. You can zoom into anything you want with them. It works really, really well. That's some crows giving me a thumbs up on that one. But again, thanks for, for looking at all this hunting that I just love so much. And God bless you and uh, uh, best of luck to all your hunting adventures.